Hey there. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a dashboard using your Google Sheets. Um, of course, you can build sort of things that look like dashboards in Google Sheets directly, uh, but I'm gonna show you how to do this using Fabi. So there's a few reasons that we're going to be doing this. The first is that uh, Fabi uses SQL and Python under the hood. Even you don't need to know SQL or Python, so don't worry. But um, that means that it's fully customizable and you can do a lot more uh, with your dashboards than you could do directly in Google Sheets. The other thing is that you can use AI to build a dashboard for you, so you can go a lot faster. And also, it's just gonna look a lot better in, in general. So uh, in this video, uh, I just start with a quick overview here. I'm gonna show you first how to connect Google Sheets to Fabi, um, and then we're gonna go through the process of building that dashboard together. So let's just start off with the data that we have. Uh, this is all synthetic sales data, it's some fake e-commerce data, um, and I will make this data available in the, um, in the video notes here, but you can just use your own data, obviously, if you have it in Google Sheets. Um, and this is just a single sheet. You could have multiple sheets, doesn't really matter. Um, and what we wanna do here is build a simple dashboard. It shows me, for example, total sales by um, product category, for example, or total sales by um, state and, you know, uh, products that have the most number of refunds and so on and so forth. So we're just going to build a very simple sales dashboard for this fake e-commerce brand. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into Fabi, um, and I will include a note in um, or a link in the in, in the video notes here. Um, and just go to app.fabi.ai. You can create an account for free and get started. It's very very simple. Um, and then once you log in, you're going to be um, in a what we call smart book. So all you have left to know is that, like this is the place where you're going to be doing your data analysis and we're gonna be building your dashboard. Um, so the first thing you can do, and you'll have the AI here on the right-hand side, so there's a few ways you can connect your Google Sheet. Uh, one is you can just you know, click here on Connect Google Sheet. You can also uh, go here and select Connect Google Sheet. Again, a few different ways to do it. Uh, I'll, I'll just pick the simplest here, which is Connect uh, Google Sheet. And then uh, once you've authenticated, so I'm already authenticated, so I don't see it right now, but um, if you it's your first time connecting your Google account to Fabi, you will see a button that says connect um, or log into to Google Sheets. Uh, so just click that, go through the process, uh, and then you'll be connected. So from there, you will see something that looks like this. And this is where you say connect sheet, and you will just look for your data. So super dope is the super public super dope sales. There we go. Select it. And yeah, it'll just take a second to run here. So it's pulling in the data. There we go, cool. So now we have our data imported into, into Fabi. Uh, technically, it's imported as a Python data frame. Uh, that's just a Python table. You don't have to know that if you don't want to. If you do know what Python data frames are, great. Um, that means you can do maybe a little bit more in Fabi. Uh, but all you have to know is that now the data is, is readily available. As a matter of fact, here you'll see that the AI already started doing a bit of exploratory data analysis on this data. Now, just a quick note here before we start building out the charts for this dashboard. Um, here, I just have a single sheet in my um, in my in my spreadsheet, um, and so when I say import all sheets, it's only importing a single sheet. Um, if you have ten sheets, that's totally fine, um, as long as you've selected all sheets. If you just want to select a specific sheet, that's also fine. Just go in here and select that one specific sheet that you want to go and import, and hit run and. Uh, you will only make that one sheet available to um, to the uh, uh, Fabi AI analyst agent. Okay, great. So we have our data. Uh, let's go back to our chat here. I'm actually just going to start fresh here just to kind of show you what it looks like from scratch. Um, now, let's say, for example, we want to look at the um, top selling product categories. Um, so, you know, plot top selling product categories. Um, this is where the AI agent, think of it as like ChatGPT, effectively designed specifically for data analysis um, and building dashboards. It will go and do its thing. It will run the code. It will make sure it's all working. Um, while the AI is doing this, I'll take this opportunity to talk about our AI settings as well. So uh, if you want your dashboard to be customized, to have a certain look and feel, or if you want the AI even just to behave in a certain way or to know something about your data and your analysis, uh, you can click on the AI settings, which I'll just show you in, this, in a second here. I'll let it finish before I do that. 
Okay, great. So let me just click on the AI settings and I'll go back to my analysis. Here in the AI settings, you have this custom instructions for AI model. Uh, this is where I'm just telling it to use Altair with my our brand colors. Uh, but you can, um, again, come in here and just tell it, hey, I'm you know uh, uh, a RevOps person or a product manager or whatever for this type of company. Um, please use these brand colors um, and you know uh, make your charts interact or whatever. Uh, so you can put some default prompt in there. Now going back to my analysis here, um, you can see here the AI built my, the chart I was looking for. And if you like, if you don't like this chart, if you want something different, just keep asking the AI. That's totally fine. If you are happy with the results, though, you can simply click on pin to SmartBook. Um, and what will happen now is the AI is going to take the code it wrote and it will add it to the SmartBook on the left-hand side. So it's starting to save the code and save the work that you're doing. Um, but you can always edit this too. So you can actually a quick tip here is um, you can rename this. So you can you know call this raw data, for example. You can call this sales by category. Um, and you'll notice here that the AI is actually when you know, renaming it just makes it easier to see. But the AI, when you click on these different sales, understands what you're focused on. You can remove that focus if you want. Just click here. You can refocus on there. You can even you know, manually tag the elements. Um, but you can ask follow-up questions or new questions or follow-up questions on what you just did here. So say you're looking at this chart and you're like, well, actually, I want to look at, I'm looking at the sales by product category here, but I actually want to see um, how much each product is contributing to each sale. So, because these are overall categories. So say, um, create, uh, change this to a stacked bar chart by product. Um, I'll also take this opportunity to just give you a quick tip on how to use AI. Um, you can be very vague if you want, that's fine. You can say build a dashboard uh, that shows X, Y, and Z, um, and it may or may not do what you want. Generally speaking though, the more specific you are, the better. So uh, if you can say, you know, build a um, blue bar chart stack this way, oriented horizontally, et cetera, et cetera, um, then it's gonna do uh, exactly what you want. Um, and then there's like all sorts of degrees in between. You can see here, I, I wasn't that specific, but I was, sufficiently specific mentioning I wanted a stack bar chart that it understood what I wanted on the first try. Uh, sort this by total sales. Okay, so let's keep, I, I didn't quite want this. I wanted it to actually be sorted by total sales. So asking the AI to make a quick update here, but generally speaking, it, it did exactly what I wanted. Um, so just make a quick update here. Great, okay. So let's go ahead and pin this to the smart book. All right, and when I pinned it, you'll notice here that the AI understood that I wanted to update this one chart and not create a new chart. Um, so it went and updated that, that chart. Uh, if you didn't want it to do that, you could also just tell the AI, hey, I wanna create a new chart and we'll go and, and do that for you. So let's now go and ask the AI to do something different. Let's say I wanna see total sales over time. Uh, show me total cumulative sales over time. Um, now the AI will understand that we're talking about a different, uh, different sort of analysis or chart, so it will go and create a new, a new block. Okay, great. Again, it's all synthetic data, so the data itself doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but that's, that's fine. So here, uh, if this is showing me what I want, I can say pin to smart book. And there we go. I have my, I have my, um, my, my chart. Um, of course, if you are technically savvy on either SQL or Python, you can always expand the code and add the code yourself or tweet the code, the title, and that kind of stuff yourself directly. Uh, that's always an option. Uh, but here you can just keep building this, the, you can keep building your analysis as much as you want. Now, we're not quite building dashboards. It's not where we are doing the layout and everything like that, that we're gonna do in just one second. This is where you're going and looking for the insights and the charts that you want to include in your, in your dashboard. Now, another great way to look at this, if you're trying to understand like what's going on and how these different blocks relate to each other, um, is you can go over to the workflow view. The workflow view, it's exact same sort of analysis that's happening under the hood, except it will show you all the dependencies as you build out your, your analysis. Um, and it might help you understand how, how everything's connected. So once you have your analysis, uh, as a matter of fact, let me go do one more thing here. Let me go and add a, a note here saying text. I'm just gonna say text and then um, 
uh, super, it's called the super dope sales analysis. Uh, this, let's remove the bolt, this uh, dashboard shows key sales metrics for the last 90 days. And then dot, 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 you can add whatever you want. So you can also add notes in here. And then once you're ready, so you have your notes, you have your charts, you have all that kind of stuff, and now you wanna go and like piece it all together into a dashboard, it's very simple. You just hit schedule and publish. Um, and this is where you'll see all the different sort of elements that, you, um, that you've put together. So you can resize things. Let's put our notes here at the top. Um, let's remove this table. We don't want this one. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and rename this super dope sales. Um, key super dope sales data. So you can add your, your notes on each of these. I can do it on charts as well. You can resize things. Uh, so here, for example, I'm gonna resize that. Let's move things around here. There we go. Um, and again, I'm just showing two simple charts here, but you can create as many charts as, as you want. You can customize them as much as you want. And once you're ready, you can schedule this to refresh at whatever cadence you want. So say hourly or daily or weekly, and that will pull your data from your Google Sheet. And then you can say finish and, um, and view report. And that will now publish a dashboard uh, that you can go back to, or you can share with anyone on your team. If you want to share, just go to share here, uh, add your email address, and it will invite them to, to Fabi. Uh, another cool thing too about using Fabi for building uh, dashboards on Google Sheets is you can, uh, you automatically have a um, AI data analyst agent embedded in the dashboard. So here you can ask any follow-up questions you want uh, directly in the dashboard. And that's it, really simple. Uh, if you found this video helpful, uh, definitely give it a like and give us a follow and we will add some notes in, uh, or some helpful links and resources in uh, the video notes here. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us at any point. You can email us at support at fabby.ai.